Beast. Come here, boy. Beast. Come here, boy. Beastie, come here, boy. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Come on. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Beast. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Beast. No, come on. Good boy. Beast, come on. Beast. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Usually I don't let the dogs lead, but since he's doing a pretty good job at being next to us, I really don't mind. Come here, boy. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on, beast. Good boy. Beautiful day. Figure why not go for a long walk, take the pups. Like I said, not using the shock collar on him at all. Positive reinforcement with him. And we're walking. Yeah, no early training, just training when we need them to be. Put them in these situations. Let them figure out how they want to react to it. Beast, I will admit, reacts a lot better than Belle does. That's because Belle's more fearless. She wants to go see what's at the end. He wants to see what's going on with us. So, Belle's motive is to see what's at the end of the tunnel. Belle's is the beast. It's uh, beast is it you know to guard us while we're going through what we're going through. Come on, boy. Let's go. There you go. go. We got Belle on the leash. Like I said, she likes to take off, see what's happening. Not that she takes off away from us, just I don't like to have her that far away from me. B stays in a position where I don't have to call him like that. <laughs> yeah, Beast doesn't really want to leave at all. He loves being around us. Not that Belle doesn't, but like I said, she just wants to see what's at the end. So she's more fearless when it comes to that. But you guys see, I do use my prongs for my walks. I don't really care about them pulling right now because we're just out 
there's not anybody out here to like distract them really or uh, make them want to do anything that they shouldn't really so I don't mind the pulling like I said I'm not gonna correct it all the time like that she's not really pulling anyway I got more 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 or less a loose leash And yes, this is February in Michigan. If you live in Michigan, you know about Michigan, you know. My weather is the most bipolar thing ever. And it's 65 degrees in the middle of February, late February at that. So that'll tell you what we deal with in Michigan. <laughs> but when it snows, it snows. Peace! Beast, come here. Come here, boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Keep going down here for a little bit. Probably turn around. We've been out here all day. It's about noon. Walking. Enjoying what we can of the weather. Beast, come on, let's go. Come on, beast. Go. You want to pass me up <laughs> like that? Go, bees, go! Psych. He's staying right next to me. Good boy. No shock. Yes, there's a prong. That's fair, you know, in public with a lot of people. And as you can see, they're happy dogs. They want to be next to me. The prong, you know. Everybody's saying it's a bad thing, but say otherwise. I pronged them. When he did bad things, that really affected him like that. Would he really want to be this next to me? No. Beast, come on. Of course not. But he knows that I love him. I want the best for him. I don't want him to do anything stupid to get himself put down. So he's staying with me and Belle. My wife, and we're walking. And here come the end of the trail. Well, we made it. And he did about 85 feet of trail off leash. I'm not gonna say the full hundred, because we had introduced him to him and everything like that. 85 feet of trail off leash. Please. I'm gonna put him back on now. Please. And Please. that'll be it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.